big plane, little plane. What is up guys, today we have a new video on the channel. Uh, this time we have a steer fail message on the aircraft. This just means that the pilots cannot go left or right, which means they can't turn. Uh, so we're gonna have to troubleshoot this issue, hopefully fix it, and get this plane uh, going. So tag along, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So one of the first things you wanna do whenever you're replacing an electronic uh, module is uh, one is for safety we use rubber gloves because those circuit boards uh, they tend to fry if you touch them with your bare hands they're extremely sensitive we also have these uh, bonding straps to put these around our wrists grounded to the plane once we have that set up then we can start messing around with the module and touching it uh, but that's one of the first things you want to do uh, just ground yourself so you don't fry these modules these are extremely expensive so if you get a module that's let's say forty thousand dollars and you fry it just because you touched it then you know that's not a good day so the first thing we're gonna do here is this uh, this module in specific has two slots in this we call this an MAU the modular avionics unit there it, it's inserted into two slots so these are back shells that we got to back up and it's just two nuts that hold it together so you unscrew the nuts and uh, just once you got it unscrewed use your hands it's not a lot of pressure you don't you don't want to strip these out um, so you just take these off by hand once you unscrew them with the with the ratchet um, it's pretty easy but you do have to be uh, extremely careful and once you take out those nuts you just back out the back shells out of where the actual module is and there's two back shells into this specific uh, module and if you, if you can see right there that's the module it's into two slots all right so once that back shell is completely out of the way and it's not interfering with anything what you want to do now is you got to loosen up these two bolts there's one on the bottom and then one on top you want to make sure you take them out evenly so you back one out and then you stop and you move on to the next one and you back it out slowly the reason why you want to do that is because if you don't if you unscrew them one at a time the other um, bolt can cause damage to the to the module so you gotta make sure you take it out evenly this is the proper way to do it evenly and it slides out completely once those bolts are removed. So you carefully slide it out and you'll see in a minute how when I turn it you can see the motherboard right there. You see I'm using the rubber gloves. The reason for this is just for an extra precaution so we don't fry that motherboard. I also have the wristband attached to the airplane so I can ground it so I don't mess it up. Uh, we have to double check that the part number uh, matches with the new unit and then they're both ser they're serialized so uh, for the new one there's paperwork on it we're gonna make sure that the serial number matches with the new item and then back again we just installed the new one the same way it comes out you put it you, you slide it all the way in and then you screw both bolts evenly at the same time one at a not you if once you start screwing one on the top then you go to the bottom and so forth and so on uh, once you once that's in then you install both back shows again and it's the same process as when you took it out you just put them in there's a hook on the bottom you you hook it and then there's a bolt that you have to uh, screw in also just very very cautious about it these items are very sensitive it doesn't have a lot of torque so you don't have to go crazy uh, thinking that you have to put 30 40 50 inch pounds it is about 25 inch pounds it's not a lot uh, there's a, a saying you can just do the German uh, torque good and tight that's it uh, once you feel that you're good so you screw with your hands first uh, once it it grabs then you can start uh, 
uh, using your ratchet and screwing those bolts back together. All right, so now we're just finishing up installing this uh, module. We're tying up the back shells right now. Uh, and this module that we troubleshot and there was a problem, the reason why we're changing it, uh, this module is just, it just sends electrical uh, power to a manifold, the steering ma manifold. This moves the pilot valve that supplies pressure to the steering valve. Once you supply hydraulic pressure to the steering valve, that's when one of, one of the uh, steering actuators starts moving left or right. So it's just, it's just sending electrical uh, information to another system. And then that system sends information to another system and so forth and so on. So it's just, it's a, it's a domino effect that happened and this module was not sending any information to the uh, manifold or the valves. So therefore they couldn't turn. We troubleshot it to that. Once we are done installing it, because it's an electrical module, we have to put a program on it, a little software update. And then we do our ops test and make sure it's good. While we do the ops uh, test for that module, making sure that it, it worked, we're just gonna fill up the oils in the meantime, because this plane has been sitting here for a bit and it's a uh, little low on oil. So we're gonna top that off. And I didn't get to uh, record and uh, do the actual ops test, but it ops checked good and it worked. The, the message went away. We uh, did an ops check of the actual system. It was turning left and right uh, and it fixed it. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of these videos, uh, removing and replacing parts, I'll go into more detail in the future. In the meantime, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Let me know. Go. No.